Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at the last of these new Primal Clash figures from Lanard Toys, and it is the Mammoth. This is the second of the larger $15 figures that you can find at Walmart currently, and it sadly is the last of these Primal Clash figures until Lanard Toys decides to either release some more, or if the line ends, I don't know. I know there are more when it comes to the Jurassic Clash line, but as of right now, from what I've been told from Lanard Toys, this is all we're getting. That can always change, I guess, if they strike another deal with Walmart to release more, but as of right now, this is all we get. Taking a look here at the back of the box, you've got a shot there of the Triceratops and the Mammoth itself, because these are the two that are released in this line. And again, this whole little story over here, all about the Primal Clash series and what it is exactly, and the box itself has a cool little window on the side on both sides very very cool I love the fact that you can see through this with kind of vegetation and stuff so if you do want to just display your figure like this it's an absolutely fantastic way to go but if not like me we're gonna open this up so let's go ahead and do that now so there we go we've got the mammoth out he's now loose and on the prowl and you can see that you also get a little handgun but that's all it is as far as the little extra guns that come in it a lot of these Primal Clash figures have a ton of little extra guns. Well, not a ton, but they've usually got a couple. And this one honestly only has that one handgun. But you've also got your human character who does include a gun right there. And then you've got these guns, or I assume they're guns, on the back of the mammoth itself. So you've got a few more weapons and things of that nature. I think that's actually all there is. But you can actually put the handgun inside the holster here that he has on the side of his pant leg so that's pretty awesome now the entire set is actually completely together and complete and that looks really really cool again the human figure himself looks pretty darn nice he's pretty much the norm as far as these primal clash figures go so he uh isn't anything brand new to write home about he looks pretty much the same as all the other ones very very cool definitely the type of figure i like to see on these and with the actual mammoth you of course got all sorts of little things to take off if you want to get a good idea of what the sculpt looks like you've got this big saddle that I always have a hard time disconnecting so we can take that off and once again I'm certain there's a peg yep a peg in the back that holds it on right here and then you've got this little deal up here to try to get off on the face so I guess we'll have to disconnect it here there we go now we got it off that's honestly one of the very few problems that I have with these figures is trying to disconnect the stuff from the actual figure can be such a hassle sometimes but we did get it and there is our very very cool looking mammoth who's got quite the interesting looking hairstyle going on but without further ado let's get a closer look so starting up here at the head sculpt you can see the eye is absolutely beautifully painted as you consistently get when it comes to these lanard toys figures no sloppiness at all so as always mattel please take note on how you paint the eyes of your figures because Lanard Toys has got it down regardless of what you guys are doing over there in your factory but you can see that there is uh, some significant paint applied to the face you've got this brownish coloration that runs down the entire trunk and the trunk actually sports some beautiful detailing it really really does look very nice there's lots of little creases in the skin and the type of thing you would exactly expect to see on a mammoth and then you've got some kind of like a creamy type of a color that just has some striping here and there all over the face. And then you've got this brown, which is the majority of the body color when it comes to the upper half. And you've got the actual white here on the tusks themselves, which also sports some fantastic detail. You can see all sorts of cracks and crevices all throughout the entire sculpting of the tusks. And they honestly look really, really nice. I think they look beautiful. This is again another figure that would probably look really, really neat with a complete repaint in a very realistic fashion. Taking a look at the throat, there is some nicely sculpted hair all throughout. And then when you come up to the top of the head, you've got a big tuft of hair right here. Kind of giving a little bit of a hairstyle there, and I think it looks pretty neat. You can again take note of some of the nicely, very fine looking hair that's sculpted on the head of the actual mammoth. So overall that whole area looks really really beautiful. One thing to note is you can't really see too much of a mouth. I mean it's kind of there, but it's not too elaborated. 
You've got a nice ear here, which actually doesn't really sport too much detail. It's fairly smooth, and I'm not sure why they chose not to put too much detail in the way of that, but it does still look pretty good. I, I definitely like it. And then you come back here into the back, you can again take note of all sorts of very shaggy hair that has been sculpted all over the place, and the hair pretty much runs the entire body all the way down into the stomach. It looks beautiful. The way they've applied that hair and the way they've sculpted it out, it does look very, very nice. You can take note of the very large shoulder blade up here in the shoulder area, and then you come down into the leg, down into the foot. Very nicely sculpted. Shockingly, there is no paint on the nails, which I find very weird, but there is none on this mammoth. Again, I really don't know why. There was paint on the nails of the Triceratops, but not the mammoth. Makes no sense to me at all. But, hey, I didn't make the figure, so I'll just move on. Coming up here into the leg, again, you can see that very shaggy, very bushy hair all over the place. And the majority of the body on the lower half is that dark brown. But then as you get to the top, it very gradually and very naturally transitions to this other brown. And I think it looks very good the way they've applied that. It also has that creamy type of a striping all throughout the body here. I'm not a big fan of that because I really don't think that's something that you would have seen on a mammoth. But honestly, for this playset, it does look good because it kind of gives it like a war paint type of a look, and considering these are all battling each other, it really does quite make sense for this set. The mammoth himself is pretty beefy. You can see he's got some girth in the stomach region, so he's a little bit of a chunky mammoth. And then coming back here into the hip, you can see the very nice hip bone, and then you lead down into this very large leg into the very beautiful sculpting of the foot, down here again, no painted nails. You've got the little tail here at the end with the tuft of hair at the bottom. Also very nicely sculpted. There doesn't appear to be too much in the way of sculpt work on the tail, but it does still look pretty good. And then we look at the opposing side, which is pretty much the same as the previous side. It does look really good. For some reason, mine has a little chip of paint here, which is strange considering it was never out of the box until now, but I don't really care because I would probably position it on this side if I were to ever display it. And again, you've got the ear there with uh, a serious lack of sculpt and detail in it, but the ear is sculpted out nicely, just the fine details aren't really put into it. And then you've got that tuft of hair, which actually does look really nice. And I kind of am upset they didn't do sort of a dry brushing like they've done with some of their other figures over the top of the hair, because I think that could have really made that stand out a little more and uh, look a little nicer. And then you come back down to the body where it's got all that fluffy hair all over the place. The nice brown coloration on the lower half and that lighter brown for the upper half. And once again, those stripes are present all over the place. The paint applied does look very good. Looks very natural and very real. So that's a plus, even if it does have that war paint type of a look. So overall, the sculpt and everything looks really, really good. You, of course, have a peg hole up here on the top to apply the saddle, so that's a little bit of a downside if you're buying this just for the Mammoth. But if you're buying it for this entire playset, then I think it's an absolute win. The Mammoth himself does balance really, really well. You can see him shaking everything. He is super, super stable, doesn't fall at all. And there is articulation in this, in the head, so you can put the head down or put it up. That is the only articulation in the actual mammoth himself. The human figure, of course, does have all sorts of articulation, just like they always do. In the shoulder, the elbow joint, shoulder, elbow joint on that side. That actually feels crazy loose for some reason. I almost thought it was going to fall off. He's got the swivel here on the head, and then the hip, the knee on both sides, of course, and then a swivel in the stomach region in the hip area. So he's very, very articulated as far as the human figure goes. And to show you how big he is next to the actual mammoth, because a few people have asked me to do this and show you what the human looks like standing next to him, the mammoth absolutely dwarfs the human, but it is still really quite a nice looking set. As far as the size goes on the mammoth himself, from the tip of the tusk to the back of the tail, you're looking at about eight and a quarter inches or about 21 centimeters, somewhere in that area. And for a height, you're looking at about five and a half inches or about 14 centimeters in height. For a size comparison, there is the Papo T-Rex and you now get to see an epic battle that never took place throughout history, but one that would have been quite interesting to see with a mammoth versus a T-Rex. You can again get a pretty good idea of the sheer size of this mammoth. Being the $15 figure, it's a much larger one than those $7 ones that they have out. 
and it is a fairly sizable mammoth. It really is, as the Papo Rex is a pretty decently sized figure itself, and this mammoth definitely compares quite well to it. So our mammoth is now put back together and looking the way it originally looked, I think. This might be up a little too high. Regardless, I think this again is a very cool set from Lanard Toys, and it is just as good as any of the other previous releases. Well, I think the Triceratops might have been a little better than this one, but it is still beautiful. If you want a very nice mammoth at a pretty good size for a good price, a good cheap price, this is definitely a good way to go. For $15, you really can't go wrong when it comes to this mammoth. And like I said earlier, a repaint could make this thing look just absolutely fantastic and so much more real. But the paint applied to this one itself does look really, really good. And overall, the entire set just looks fantastic. And if you are a uh, parent looking to buy this for your child, your son's into dinosaurs or anything like that, this is probably going to be something that will definitely make him or her very happy as it's such a cool set. I love the entire idea behind the Primal Clash line and again very similar to Dino Riders with that same type of feel. So it's again something that really tugs at my heartstrings and makes me like it even if the figures were a little uglier. I would still probably like them just because of that similarity between this and Dino Riders, but that's just not the case honestly. The figures in this line are absolutely beautiful. They are really, really well sculpted, really nicely painted, very realistically and naturally painted, and they don't skimp out in the paint region at all. As far as that goes, similar to what Mattel does on some of their figures, you don't really find that here with Lanard Toys, aside from the toenails not being painted on this mammoth. I, again, don't know why that is, but whatever. Either way, the mammoth looks fantastic. The human figure is very cool, as they always are. You get the additions of these cool little guns and everything and the saddle and this head mask and all that stuff on top of the human figure and the mammoth so it's a great set definitely worth the price you'll pay about fifteen dollars at walmart again they have recently put a link up on walmart.com where you can order this but you're going to take a chance because it's not going to tell you which one you're going to get you'll get either the triceratops or the mammoth you don't get to pick for some stupid reason they get to pick for you so I will throw that link in the description if you choose to try purchasing one. If not, I would say head to your local Walmart and you'll be able to find this probably pretty easily. It's all over the place in my area, so it's probably a better bet to go actually to the store and try to pick one up for yourself as you'll actually be able to pick exactly which one you want. Or both if that's the route you're going to go. Either way, these Lantern Toys Primal Clash figures were all awesome all absolute beautiful wins and I hope they'll be releasing more in the very near future if they do I can assure you they'll be on this channel being reviewed as well and if not well then I feel like that's just a lost opportunity on Walmart and Lantern Toys part because I know as I said there are other Jurassic Clash figures that could definitely get released in this line and I'll keep my fingers crossed that they do actually end up getting released Either way, head to your local Walmart, pick up some of these Primal Clash figures, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.